Hello guys, Exo Ride, I hope you're doing well. Uh, now I'm out on the uh, Motor Marini X Cape today. Just went out for a little bimble. Uh, just to see what the bike's all about. See what it can do. And yeah, so it's just a, another random video really. Oh, f just got f in it in the f eye by a f fly. That f can teach you to put your visor down, you have some f wobble. Put your visor down, you car. F Hi, guys, exit rider. Just got to always put your visor down. I just got hit by a bee in the eye. Bloody idiot. The amount of times I've done that, and I've always said to myself, put your bloody visor down. Certainly in the summertime, it's terrible. Anyway, I'm out on the Motor Marini X Cape today. Just gone for a little bimble, really, up into the forest and uh, have a look around. And I thought I'd show you a place I've been before. Actually on Saddlebags Himalayan, called Eadstone. Uh, nice part of the world, you go, it's, it's a long way up, it's the highest point in Exeter to my knowledge. And two reasons I want to go there, really. First of all, is it left here, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Eadstone left. First of all, I've got the right bike for it. It's a little bit ropey up here, can be. And secondly, I want to show you the view up here. Which is jolly rather pleasant. Speaking of pleasant, there's a couple of pheasants there. Oh, there's a couple of pheasants there, look. Oh dear, it's overgrown here now. A bit muddy, buddy. Hopefully there won't be any calamities. God, it's rough up here now. Uh, yeah, really nice view up here. Oh, bit of rear end spin out there. Oh, shit, I wasn't expecting this. Right, I think hopefully that's the worst of it. <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Yeah, so it's uh, summertime. You're going to be watching this way down the line, I guess. I say it's summertime. Doesn't look like it at the moment. It's August the 28th or something like that. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd pop up here and show you the lovely view. And it really is lovely too. It's uh, cracking up here. So I don't really know what significance Eadstone actually delivers. All I can tell you is that there's a stone on top of a hill. And I guess it's just a marker for the highest point in Exeter. This is getting really quite ropey. I don't really don't want to have any oopsie daisies on here. <laughs> Spinny, winny, slippy, dippy. Yeah, it's so lovely once you get up the top. It's just getting there. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. Slightly overgrown as well. I was going to come up here on the... Um, Hunter, which would have been a, a no-go for sure. It's just not suitable for that type of bike. Uh, recently, I've uh, had a bit of time off doing the bike stuff, doing the reviews and filming, and uh, I've just sent the Zero back. Uh, I've still got the T-Royal Enfields. One of them I haven't done any filming on whatsoever yet. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Um, yeah, it's been a very busy time, so I must thank you for that, because it's you guys liking the video. Look at that, look. Kind of see where we're heading already. Lovely view. Sort of place I'd like to have a drain, really, which is high on my hit list of things I want uh, Father Christmas to bring along to me. Not sure if I'll be able to do it this year, to be honest with you. It's been a bit of a, a, bit of a rubbish year. But yeah, how's this year been for you guys? For me, it's been a bit of a disaster. Losing father-in-law. Thanks for all your nice comments on that video. Um, 
I was kind of just shooting from the hip really on that point of things, on that side of things. Yeah, shooting from the hip on that video because it was just a, a video which I guess it's a bit of therapy for myself really. Just trying to uh, deal with it and um, and stuff. Horrible thing to go through, it's all part of life isn't it? He's a good old boy, I had 20 good years with him so all good there. But. Uh, Always taken too soon, of course. I think I've actually come the wrong way, you know. Gone the long way, I think. Ah, oh, yes, this is the road I should have taken. I don't know what happened there, but... There you go. Yeah, work's been really rubbish. Um, this year, awful, really. Um, just cost of living going up and cost of materials going up. I'm, in a, I'm a tradesman, so... Uh, you know, you, you, you're kind of on the thick end of it, really, with the customers. You know, they're trying to save a few quid. You're trying to make a few quid. And then there's a bit in the middle, isn't there? Which, uh, whoops. Yeah, so it has been difficult, but I'm not the only one. On the flip side of it, Exeter Rider has been doing fabulously well. Uh, it's been a really good year. So far, I mean, I'm talking in August at the moment, I've still got lots of bikes booked in for, you know, right, right up to Christmas time, or November time, anyway. Um, yeah, it's been absolutely, f absolutely phenomenal. It's strange, isn't it, when I went into this year, I thought, well, I've tried most of the bikes, which I can get hold of, so what's, I don't really know what's left. But sure enough, you know, law of attraction and all that, is, I think this is it here. Yeah, I'll see, there you go. Law of Attraction and all that. <sighs> Finds a way of getting more bikes. Is that safe there? No, it's not. Let's try that again. It's a problem with the heavy bike. I can't, <laughs> I can't push it back. Back you go. There you go. Oops. That's all right. Don't want any whoopsie daisies, do we? Yeah, so there you go. That's the fabulous Motor Marini X Cape. Very capable machine. Very nice indeed. Just wish they could sort themselves out, really. Get the dealership network out. Well, I'm going to get undressed and show you the view. All right, let's hop over the fence into the field. It's a rickety old thing. Ooh. Didn't fall off any ouch stinging nettles. Yeah, so there you go. This is uh, well, Eadstone is actually I'm not sure if you can see with my selfie stick, but it's a long way. Can you see it from there? I don't know. You're probably looking at nothing, right? Oh well, anyway, it's over there somewhere. I'm not quite, oops, quite sure where myself. Yeah, beautiful view, always nice and quiet up here. Quite often have uh, people rambling along the top there. Uh, so over there we have sort of Dunsford area. Somebody can put me white right if you want. Far, far distance. I'm laughing because I don't. I can't work out what what's what here. Far distance. That's going to be. Uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to say. Right. And then we've got the city itself. On the left we have Red Hills and that sort of area. You probably can't see too much on camera, but you can see how nice it is here. It's really nice. Right down the bottom nearest to us here we have Ede, which is a small village, a classic sort of village really. Moving over, you can see Marsh Barton Industrial Estate. And the far, far distance we have Woodbury Common. Again, that's a nice sort of area for a bike ride. No, it's not a not big place, but it's just a nice ride. And uh, right over there is the estuary. So quite often I film down there, Topsham, Dawlish, and uh, then it moves out to Exmouth on the far side, uh, which economical rides. Uh, that's one of his favorite places by the sounds of it. 
Uh, and then really in the far distance, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's, it's actually the sea. Uh, it's a good day today. Not the best of days, but good enough to be able to see the sea there. So it really is a lovely view. It's one of those places actually where if I had the time, it'd be nice just to come up here sometimes with a sandwich and a flask, um, just sit here, you know, come up on a bike. Obviously it's no good coming up in a car really. It's just not the same. Come up here on a bike, sit down, have a cup of tea, lovely jubbly. But yeah, there you go. It's just having the time, isn't it? If only I could win the lottery. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so really, that's kind of all I wanted to show you. Sorry, it's a bit of a something of nothing video. Uh, any other subjects I can talk about? Mine's gone blank. It's perfectly normal. Yeah, nice place though. So this is Ede Stone, top of Ede. It's all signposted and you come up to this lovely view. As you can imagine, it's actually really nice at night as well. All lit up, all uh, lit up really nicely. Yeah, be a nice place to take the uh, your next cape actually. Yeah, good little bike this is for um, doing some light off-road stuff. Um, it's ironic really because it's summer, I haven't really had a huge amount of time to spend with it or put the miles on it because I've been putting miles on other bikes which I've had at the moment so uh, yeah I didn't really do all I wanted with this but they you know they kind of let you have the bike as long as they can I've had it for a week at the moment I've got it for a bit longer but it's just it, to be honest it wasn't long enough for me to do a, a proper um, ER uh, test stroke video on it but there you go you know, I mustn't grumble. You know, back in the early days, people uh, used to have a bit of a pop at me, you know, and you get this all the time. And I know, I'm sure other reviewers have had this. Um, because quite often you can only have the bike for a couple of hours, three hours in the afternoon or whatever. But you have to start somewhere, you know, all these people. And it used to really hack me off that some of the other YouTubers would get wind of that or, or just just know that that was the case because they've been in the same situation before and some of them still are and and they almost like put you down that really pisses me off that's one thing i really hate you know i've always um, as most of some of you guys know i help people where i can i'm limited on time myself but um putting other people down i still get it now actually i still get it now and it really it's just one of those things that really hack me off but it also infuses me to uh, help people coming on board to YouTube. I'll always be supportive. Uh, at the same time, I've got a busy life myself, as you can imagine. There's only so much I can um, do in a day. You know, I'm always on catch up anyway. You know, I'm never, never on top of things. I'm permanently grinding away to keep the channel going and keep work life going and keep family going. So, whilst you're fit and able, you've got to go and do it, haven't you? That, that's that's the way I see things. So. Um, and I seem to manage to, to do it all. So, you know, uh, it's hard work, you know, but just keep grinding. As I say to anyone, you know, with YouTube, just got to keep going and just keep making the mistakes and get better. Anyway, that went off somewhere else, didn't it? Yeah, so hope you're well, whatever you're doing. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll put this out in, uh, in the winter time, maybe. But uh, thanks for watching. Sorry, it's a bit summer or nothing. But I hope you like the view and I'll see you on the next video, whatever that may be. Hopefully a review or something. Bye. Oh yes, I almost forgot. How can I forget? Saddle, surely that has got to be an award winner, hasn't it? It's got everything that a gateway with a view needs. Come on, mate, send me the prize. <laughs>